Assalamu alaikum and good day. Today we are going to study the, the first lecture of the week one, okay, which is the vector, okay. So before that, I would like to say that welcome to this course, Electromagnetic Field Theory with the course of SEEU 2523. Chapter 1 Vector Analysis. Introduction A quantity can be either a scalar or a vector. So it means that in this world, our quantity can be in two forms, which is scalar or vector. Scalar is the quantity with magnitude only, such as mass or temperature, whereas vector is a quantity that has both magnetic and direction, such as the intensity, the speed, and the gravity. So this is the, a simple representation, graphical representation, how a scalar and a vector look like. For example, let's say this as we assume as a distance. So we can say it's five kilometer. That's all. A magnitude, a value. Whereas for a vector, it's a magnitude having both. It's a quantity having both magnitude and direction. So let's say we take for example a vector one of the units, uh, one of the quantity that we, we have seen in daily life, such as the velocity. Okay, let's say velocity is kilometer per hour. So, let's say we draw some uh, axis. For example, this is the north, this is the east, and this is the south. Let's, so imagine this is a car, a car moving towards southeast with a 30 km per hour towards southeast. So we have the magnitude and we have the direction. So this is a vector. So a vector of A is how we write, for example, so here is the, the direction towards x, this is the direction towards y, and this is the direction towards z. So this is actually unit vector to show the direction, and this is the magnitude. Let us move to the next page. The magnitude of A can be written as modulus with the vector A inside. So, we obtain the magnitude of A. Small letter A with a head here is a unit vector. A unit vector is actually a vector having magnitude of one. So how we're going to obtain this vec unit vector A is actually by dividing the vector A itself with the magnitude. So as in the previous slide, okay, this one for example is the unit vector in the x direction. Electromagnetic wave such as radio wave, optical wave, microwave are all vectors because they have directions and also magnitude. So vector can be analyzed in three forms, which is the Cartesian, cylindrical, and spherical coordinates. In Cartesian coordinates, is a the vector is represented in x, in y, 
and in Z directions. So here, for example, we can see there is a vector moving towards it's a, a point here, point P, and you see this is actually the unit vector of the whole vector. Okay, so here, no, without any calculation, we know that this one is actually one unit. Okay, how this vector is actually a combination of this vector because we can see. It can is actually moving towards here, for example, and uh, towards the towards x direction, towards y direction, and towards z direction. Then we have this x, a x, a y, a z magnitude, and with their corresponding direction. Position vector is a vector from a point of origin which is the zero 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 towards a certain point so this is the a bar the position vector of a and this is actually the magnitude again and the direction the corresponding direction it can also be rewritten as p bar. Distant vector is a vector have between two points. Here we have point p with coordinate of x1, y1, z1, and the other one we have a vector of point q with a coordinate of x2, y2, and z2. Here is a vector of pq, showing that it has a direction. So pq is actually q minus by p. So we can minus x2 and x1, y2 minus y1, and z2 minus z1. Okay, let's say for example, simple So, we can actually this 3 minus 1 x You need x You need vector x 3 minus 1 Unit vector y plus uh, 3 minus 1 unit vector z. So we get the answer which is 2 x to y unit vector y and to unit vector z. Go to the next file. A field is a quantity in the region, everywhere in a region. Field can be either scalar or vector. Temperature distribution in a building. So, can you guess? Is it scalar or is it a vector? As you know, the temperature just now is actually a scalar quantity. But Can you give me what is the answer for this? Can you guess? I will ask in the next lecture. And gravitational force on a body in space. Is it scalar or is it a vector? Gravitational force itself is a vector quantity. So it is, must be a vector. Now, we go to the next one, uh, the next slide, which is vector algebra. So, there is uh, operation involving uh, vector algebra, such as the addition, the subtraction, and the multiplication. We, here, we see 
a vector of a. And here we see a vector of b. So we're going to see how these two can be added, can be subtracted, or can be being multiplied. First, okay, we go to the next one, the vector addition. Here we have c bar. To obtain a vector c bar is actually defined by a plus b means that to obtain the c vector we must add these two vectors a and b in order to obtain the vector c and because uh, a plus b equals to b plus a there is no difference and it still contribute to obtain vector c different drawing but still meaning the same okay here is the representation for b vector b plus vector a to get the c this one is for this one and this one is for this one Vector subtraction A minus B is vector A minus vector B is equal to vector A plus opposite direction of vector B. Okay. So here you see A minus b it's showing this direction means if you can see this direction is in the opposite direction of the initial b ve vector of b so that's why it is labeled as negative to show the opposite direction and to obtain a my vector a minus vector b is actually the combination of vector a minus vector b or we can isolate it in this way okay so a plus opposite vector of b opposite direction of vector b vector multiplication vector can be multiplied with a scalar and the other vector multiplication involve the dot product and the cross product. Here, taking example, the k times multiply with vector a. So k is uh, just a scalar or just a constant. For example, we can imagine this is just like a number. So k times a x you need vector x plus a y unit vector y times a z unit vector z all of this multiply with k so we simply find just like this so let's say for for example let's say this is 2 this is 1 this is 3 so let's say this is on 2. So 2 times 2, it is 4. 